So this morning I got up and I uh, checked the Backcountry Diggers group, fa uh, group page and I came across um, this post from Durant Ashmore. He is needing some help. Apparently some uh, uh, people who were supposed to clean up a graveyard just really made a terrible mess of things. It's a historical graveyard. So um, he's asking for help and I think we're going to go help. Well, John Thomas Sr. went to arms and he fought in significant battles against the Cherokees. He was at the first siege of, Cher of, uh, of uh, 96. He fought in the um, Battle of the Cane Break in Southern Greenville County. Uh, and I think we'll leave it at that because we do need to get to, you know, finding these um, uh, iron rebar pins that are here. We're going to uh, locate them and we'll, then we'll mark them with these flags and we'll see just where these graves are and we'll see where we might want to take things from there. Okay. So let's get going. There's a section over there where a group of people are standing. That is uh, supposed to be uh, uh, James Thomas and his wife are supposed to be buried in that plot right there. Now there may be some some uh, graves under that pile of stone, and I'm going to go through that section yet. But uh, we'll just see. We'll just see how this goes. Hopefully, we find every single one of them. One marked. And might as well mark another one while we're here. Right there's the rebar. Mm -hmm. the line. Well, how about that? We're Sorry. doing a good job. Pretty good. I wonder. Well, several weeks after that video was shot, and I hope you've seen that video. If you have not, uh, I'm going to put a link to it down in the description of this video. But several weeks after that was shot, I started receiving photographs of some of the work that the historians and neighbors around here have been doing uh, out here to uh, bring this uh, very historic cemetery back around. And through their efforts, we now have family plots marked out. Right there, we have the Rush family. Uh, theirs is probably a most well-preserved gravesite in that you still have the capstones placed right there. You still have the capstones remaining. Uh, really, the only uh, headstones of any kind that are still in this cemetery are right there. And then we have the Edwards family right there. I believe Bill actually located that location. All right. Bill, how many did you find, you think? I don't know, 10, 10 15 of them. Bill found all of them. What are you he found all of them? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I did find that pile of bricks, though. With that one grave stone. That, that's what those uh, yellows are? Yeah, the yellows okay. are for bricks. All right. Uh, he started finding some bricks in there. And then right over there, we have the Thomas family. That is Colonel John and Jane Thomas right there. And they are probably the most well-known historical figures buried here. And as you saw in that first video, when we were out here placing those flags, 
We had a field of them. Well, no longer. Those flags are gone. And that's because we now have a brick as a marker for each location. And I heard there's a possibility those bricks may eventually hold a number and that number is going to correspond with an individual who is known to be buried in this location on a plaque that's outside that fence. Now we do know some about the people buried here already. Because outside this fence we have little markers already. This one is in commemoration of Thomas Edward who is our most well-known colonial hero in this location. And right here, this tells, well, it tells what the families buried in each plot are. As I mentioned before, the Rush, Thomas, and Edward family. But it does sound like uh, we're gonna get a little bit more detail than that at some point, so hopefully I can check back when they get that done. Then we have the Mathis. We have these very large cut rocks. I suppose they uh, exhumed from this area. So I guess they know they were there, I assume. I don't know how that, how that worked with these rocks. And then we have the Colonel John and Jane Thomas. I imagine those rocks are there to mark where a flag once stood. But this couple right here <laughs> held a very influential part in our revolution. Well, I hope you enjoyed this revisit of this location. Uh, I really hated to just leave it at the last video where we uh, staked out the, the uh, grave sites and then didn't show you anything, anything else and I, I really wanted to let you see what has happened here so far. I don't believe they're done. I believe there's a lot more work they intend to do. I even think they want to have a dedication ceremony out here at some point. So if I can uh, be in on any of that, you will be sure to see additional videos of that. I hope you enjoy this video, guys. I'm Mike Noble. Thank you for watching.